Okay, we're back. We've got resistors R1 through R7 soldered into the board. Solder joints are a little messy. Again, the iron is not the, not the best iron that I'm using here. But you can see I've got R1 through R7 soldered nicely into the board. The next thing I'm going to do is solder resistor R8 into the board. And thankfully, the instructions give you a little, uh, give you the color code right here. Um, in order to figure out the, uh, which resistor is which, there's a resistor color code that I'm not going to go into in this video. But resistor R8 is a 33K resistor, and that's the uh, color code is orange, 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 as it says in the manual. So I found my R8 resistor. I'm going to do the same thing and solder resistor R8 into the board. Let's find R8. There it is, way off to the side. Same thing, get the component in, square it up nicely, separate these leads out, get the component to stay in place, and let's solder that in real quick. Okay, just get it nice and hot, make sure that solder flows, and draw it up the lead. Same thing with the other lead. There we go. Give that a second to cool. It only takes a second. <clears throat> then we're going to trim off the rest of the lead, keep our board nice and clean. And there's R8. Let's do the same thing with R9. According to the manual here, R9 is brown, black, yellow. I'm just going to check the component. Brown, black, yellow. And that will be R9. Find R9 on the board. It's here on the other side. I think this is kind of a neat kit. It's got <clears throat> two hearts that I think are going to flash independently of each other from looking at the, at the picture here. Get the iron ready. Again, every time you use your iron, you want to tin it a little bit, get all the oxidation off, wipe it off. Be careful not to flick solder into your eyeballs. It's good to wear uh, goggles while you're soldering, although almost no one really does. It nice and hot. Make sure the solder's flowing. Draw it right up the lead. Should look somewhat shiny when you're done with it. If it looks dull and flat, you probably have a cold solder joint, which means the uh, rosin that's inside the solder that makes it flow and keeps the, the, the uh, surfaces clean can get in between what the things you're trying to solder and, and you won't get a good electrical connection. So get it nice and hot. Make sure the solder's flowing. Draw it up the lead. Let it cool and then just trim the leads off. <clears throat> okay, so that's all the resistors, R1 through R9. According to the instructions, the next thing we're gonna do is solder the LEDs in. And LEDs, you have to be careful. They're directional, you can see, you might be able to see in the manual here, um, one lead is longer than the other. So you can see a picture here. There's two leads, one is longer than the other. There's a schematic symbol here, an anode and a cathode. And uh, if you look really carefully, you can see that one, <clears throat> one side of the LED is flat. So the side with the long lead has the, uh, it might be a little hard to see in the video here, but there's this side is flat, whereas this side is rounded around the casing of the LED. That way you can tell which side is which. So there's multiple ways you can tell. <clears throat> so there's a lot of these to solder. We've got 28 of them, I believe. So I'm not going to bore you by soldering 28 um, LEDs. But you can see on the, on the uh, drawings on the, uh, the circuit board itself, I'm trying to find something to point with, here we go. Um, these little circles that are lab labeled LD, LD1 through LD28, they have a circle, but they also have a little flat side. And that flat side will correspond to the flat side in the casing of the LED. So you've got to make sure that when you put um, LEDs in, that they only go in, in one way. Uh, if you put them in the wrong way, current won't flow. They're like a diode. They're a light emitting diode. And like all diodes, they only let current flow one direction. So uh, just be careful. Uh, you know, go slowly. Make sure you're putting the LEDs in the right way. I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to uh, pause the video, do the rest of them, uh, and I'll come back and do the rest of the components. Let, let's find L, LD number one on the board. There it is, right at the bottom of the heart here. And we just want to be really careful. It's a little hard to see. The cathode here is the short lead. And that is the side that has um, the, the uh, flattened, uh, flattened casing. Just double checking the manual here. Yep, according to this, the cathode has the, has the flat side. And it has the shortened lead. 
So there we go. Again, just sort of put the component in, spread the leads out. <clears throat> That'll help keep the component in place. Now, LEDs, you want to be a little careful. They're diodes, they're semiconductors. That means they're heat sensitive. They're nowhere near as heat sensitive as an integrated circuit or a diode or a regular diode with a glass casing. But you still want to be a little careful. Try to, you know, heat, use the iron to heat it up um, enough to where the solder is going to flow, but not so much that um, you're going to damage the component. So just be really efficient about your time with the soldering iron. Get it on there. Heat it up, let some solder flow, and, and you're done. That simple. I'm just going to turn this around to make it easy to solder the other uh, other side. I don't have a vise here to keep this steady, so I've got to use one finger to keep this, this a little steady. And you want to be a little careful when you're applying solder. Some of these uh, pads on this, uh, this circuit board are a little close together, so you don't want so much solder that you uh, create a short circuit. If you put too much solder on there, sometimes you can accidentally create a short circuit and bridge two uh, pads that are not supposed to be connected. There we go, nice and quick. Always be careful with your soldering iron. You know, I accidentally burned myself with a soldering iron once. I uh, grabbed it by the wrong end and uh, burned myself like crazy. Don't want to do that. Okay, trim the leads off. Nice and flush. And that's what one of them looks like right on the board there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to do 27 more of these LEDs. We'll come back and finish the rest of the components in a minute.